In today's video, we're going to do a three-day, all-day wear, test, and demo on the new release by Bare Minerals. Now, it's been a minute since I've seen any real excitement over a Bare Minerals release. But in its day, Bare Minerals was really it for a lot of people, and I think that it's still a really good brand. I heard that they were coming out with this powder foundation. It is a revised formulation of their original pressed powder and loose powder. And this one is called Bear Pro 16 Hour Skin Perfecting Powder Foundation. Yes, I needed to look at it to make sure I had all those words in for you. It's $35 for eight grams. It comes in a component like this. And it says that dry skin ladies and oily skin girls and ladies can use it and that it perfects skin texture, smooths, and refines the look of your skin. And I am all about that. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, stick around. We're about to get right into it. So I'm Mona. Thank you for spending some time with me today. If you haven't joined my family yet, please consider hitting that subscribe button and hitting the notification bell. Give me a thumbs up if you like the content. It really helps my channel. I've taken two sabbaticals this year due to Hurricane Ida and some family losses. And I think some people forgot that my channel is out here. I am working hard to improve and bring you better content that you will enjoy and that will be useful to you. I know that my lighting is not perfected right now. Since Hurricane Ida, I am filming in a new location. I lost my last lighting setup and I haven't replaced that yet. So bear with me because my sound and my lighting should improve shortly. <laughs> you see I'm at my kitchen table and it's jumping around. My cat is going crazy on the table and making the camera shake. We, we, we will have that refined soon. Why might you be interested in this? It's $35, it has 35 shades, and it has a lot of claims. I'm only seeing it on the Bare Minerals website, but it is going to be available at Sephora on January 20th. It says that it's sweat, humidity, and transfer resistant. That it's a natural matte foundation that provides 16 hours of breathable full coverage. So while I don't usually like full coverage because it's not breathable, it doesn't flex with my skin, it clings to wrinkles, it clings to texture, looks cakey and not flattering, I would like to be able to wear something with a fuller coverage that gives me a more flawless look. So we're going to see if maybe, maybe this can do that. It says over time that it even gets better. And so it says that it absorbs oil and controls shine for 24 hours. So if you're an oily gal, this might be perfect for you. It's a new pressed powder foundation that's talc free and visibly improves skin over time. It can be applied wet or dry. It's non-drying, so that's why I'm thinking it might work for me or us dry skin gals. It's non-caking, which of course is going to be important to me. It includes an application sponge for on-the-go use. I like being able to touch up if I want while I'm out. It is sweat resistant, humidity resistant, transfer resistant, dermatologist tested, hypoallergenic, non-comedogenic, non-acnegenic, cruelty free, vegan, clean, talc free, formulated without parabens, formaldehyde, synthetic fragrance, gluten, and more. So it really is a product that's made well and made with good standards. Now we gotta find out how the performance is. And as I'm filming the intro last, I already know my thoughts. So let's get into the demos and the wear tests. Okay, here we are for day one's wear test and demo, or demo and wear test. Let's get into this. I'm really kind of excited to try it out. Look at how red my face is naturally. And I definitely have a better side and a worse side. This is my worst side. So I'm going to go in on that side with a damp sponge because they said that on dry skin you might want to use damp and this is my most textured funky side. 
This is my last sponge that I'm down to because Rambo has eaten all of my other ones. I ordered five from Koki and they should be arriving any day. I can't wait to get them. But until then, we're going to go with real techniques. So I'm going in damp and, oh, all I have on, I have my skincare on and I have a moisturizer and I have a silicone blurring primer because that's my usual. So I want a foundation that's going to work with my usual, right? So let's see how that does. If there's any issues with it playing nice, that kind of thing. It's definitely quicker to apply a powder foundation than a liquid one. I could definitely get hooked on that if I could find one that works well. I know some of you hate when I don't put bangs up. I get those mean comments. I think I went a little over the middle part of the line. And you know there's no test like a, a visor test and an outside natural light test. You might be able to see it a little better than I can if it's flawed or not flawed. At first glance from my mirror from where I'm looking like I'm pleasantly surprised at the coverage, how fast it goes on. The bright light might tell me a different story. I'm hoping not, but it might. Okay, on this side, we're gonna go in with it dry. I'm just gonna open up that other part, take out that little sponge that I came with. Which does fit very nicely around little curves. Perfect for on the go. This really does have good coverage because I have that little red dot that I get on the tip of my nose. It's some kind of little hyperpigmentation that never goes away. It does a decent job of covering it. So I'm going to go add the rest of my makeup and then we'll meet back for a check-in and a visor test. Okay, so we're doing the visor test. I have a little blush and a little eye makeup on. A little lipstick too. And basically, my good side looks good, and my imperfect side looks imperfect. But surprisingly, it doesn't look really too much more imperfect than it does with any foundation that I wear. So, I'm not saying this is going to be a holy grail because we haven't let it sit on for a long amount of time yet. It's been about five hours but there isn't any caking. I mean, you can see my fine lines. I don't think that it's evening out or diffusing my texture or my skin, although I'm happy with it on this side. You know, I don't see any wow factor over other foundations that I'm wearing on this side, but I, I don't feel like it makes it any worse. You know, initial impression, if you're looking for a quick out the door powder foundation, you know, I, I would, I would throw this on. Let's come back at the end of the day and see what we think. Okay, we haven't gone 16 hours, but we have gone 10 hours, okay? So in a little bit, the light's gonna start going down. And my places to film at home are limited right now, so I don't wanna wait till it's dark. Let's zoom you in. hasn't settled in any fine lines, has not blurred them, has not made my texture better, but it's not sitting in any of them. It's not caking, and it has not worn away. So I think that's about the best that I can expect of a foundation. I'm surprised that I got it from a powder foundation. Would this be my go-to? Probably not. I probably still, on most days when I have time, will take the time to apply a liquid foundation. But if I don't, and I just want to even out my complexion and give a little coverage and smooth out my redness, would I wear this with my skin like it is? Absolutely. I would say that if your skin is in better condition than mine and you don't have so much texture 
and you like powder foundations that you would absolutely love this one I absolutely love this side if this side of my face wasn't so flawed I'd like this even better I'm I'm looking at pores and those are definitely not enhanced at all and I'm looking at texture and this side is pretty smooth this side you know you can you can't I can't make with without having treatment I can't make this texture go away is it my favorite foundation it's it's not I'm liking the one by Tarte the whipped one a little bit more but I couldn't have done a faster foundation so and I would be comfortable with it the only thing I've touched up is my lips just because they're a little dry so I'm gonna see you tomorrow and we're gonna try it in a different way good morning we're gonna do day three's testing of this I am skipping day two's footage because I'm just gonna sum it up at the end because I already know the outcome so let's zoom you in so we're gonna go in today I have just my skincare extra moisturizer I am really moisturized I'm so greasy I glide with moisturizer and no it's really not that much but it's very moisturized skin I'm using a wetter beauty blender and I'm going to use this on my worst side going in so I have my eye makeup on but I have no nothing below concealer and I'm using it wet on both sides today I just decided that <laughs> I didn't put my bangs up but I didn't get there with powder yet let's see how it worked on my scar so you can really build this up I mean I can go in with layer after layer but of course that would not be my ideal preference although I've put a pretty good lot on I'm gonna go add my blush my lipstick and we're gonna take a look okay so my makeup is on I'm gonna zoom you in we're gonna give you some more thoughts definitely like the application better with a wet sponge on my dry skin I like to go in a little lighter than heavier but I'm still getting really really good coverage what I'm finding amazing is that my pores almost look minimized not the texture but the pores I don't know if that's my skincare because I've been loving a new serum that I feel a relatively new serum that I feel like has been making my pores look smaller so that could be that but it almost has a little bit of an airbrushed look right here not here this this is you know my lost cause really if it doesn't make it look worse I'm good doesn't settle like some foundations or most foundations in these lines not all day not at any point does it cake up okay so that that's good I'm gonna come back with one more end of the day wear test and we'll give my final thoughts oh one last thing somebody asked me how my my intermittent fasting was going I would say that it's still going I'm having a hard time getting it to stop now can you guys see this like literally there if I would just stand here and I hold on to them there was literally literally falling off so I would say that that is still going very well and I would highly recommend intermittent fasting the 16-8 method is easy and still 
very effective for me. We're going to give it as long as I can give it today. All right, bye. No, not bye. Until, until later, don't go away. Okay, we're at 10 hours again outside on this day in the bright light. It's already getting dark outside. I hope the lighting is okay. It has been 16 and a half hours. I get up really early, start my day early, usually end my day early. Early to bed, early to rise, you know what they say. I put it through the test today. So, final thoughts. Still there. My broke down a little bit right here. But I still have, I would say, full coverage. It definitely gives you full co coverage. It maintains that claim. It is still intact. My lipstick is a little faded. Okay, it did not settle into any fine lines and wrinkles. I think it airbrushed, gave a, a little bit of blurring to my pores. I don't think it did my texture any favors. I think it held up to the claims that it is full coverage. I like it better applied with a damp beauty sponge than dry on my skin. I think it's quick, it's easy, something you can throw in your purse and go. I definitely will get use out of this. It won't be my favorite foundation. I'm still gonna prefer something that's a little more moisturizing. I'm still gonna prefer my tinted serums and my tinted moisturizers. But I do like the coverage on this. And I may find some new ways to wear it. I'm going to come back and do another roundup on this and give you a check-in at the end of the month on all of the new products that I've tried in January. I'm going to go ahead and start back with my faves and fails. So when I do that, when I do my faves and fails at the end of the month, I'll check in on what we reviewed during the month and what turned out to be my favorites and what turned out to be fails, which, what I reached for and what I didn't. I would say that if you like powder foundation, that this is a good one. I'm going to try to use some more drugstore foundations because I'm curious about how this compares and I can honestly say that I don't know because I don't use a lot of powder foundations. I'm pleasantly surprised, full coverage, check, long lasting, check, little pore blurring, check. I haven't worn it long enough to know if it will make your skin look better over time. That's one of the claims. It says I think in two to four weeks and I've only been using it for three days. But first impression, I think it's a good product. I love that it's clean, that it truly is clean because clean is not always clean and that it's cruelty free and I like the color match that I picked. I like that it has 35 shades. I think that it's very inclusive. I think oily skin women would definitely love it. If you like a full coverage powder foundation, I think this is a good one. It won't be my holy grail. It won't. I wish I could say it would, but it won't be. But I don't hate it. In fact, I like it. I just don't love it. So I hope that helped you if you're considering making a buying decision on this. Keep in mind my skin is very dry and it still did amazingly well. And that is very textured and it still did amazingly well. Could I find something at the drugstore for less than $35 that would do amazingly well? Perhaps that's something I can't tell you. But I can tell you how this one held up and how this one did. So. I won't be doing this many videos all the time if you're still here. I did get some gift certificates for Christmas and I will be using those. So I'll probably be doing more frequent product reviews intermittently for a while. And I also have a topic on parenting adult children. So keep an eye out for that if that is something that you might be interested in. I think that women in our age group have to parent adult children if we're mothers and that that definitely brings a set of challenges and I have some tips coming up for how we might be better at parenting our adult children. Anyway, thank you for spending time with me today. I hope that you enjoyed the review. I appreciate you being here. Go out and live like Mel. Bye.